host using your identity. The parcel contains illegal components. There is an arrest warrant already issued under your name. To talk to an officer from Canada Border Services Agency, please press 1 and hold the line. Canada Border Service Agency, how may I ask you? I, I well, I'm not really sure. There was I, I just got a message from you saying that I should press one and hold the line. Something about something illegal that I've done. Illegal? Yeah, I said I had done something that was illegal, and I I I don't know what I could have done. Okay, so you sent a call from my department about an illegal under your name. That's what it said. Yes. Okay, so uh, before your line was transferred to me, did you receive any case ID number or a reference number in which I can pull up the details about the call? I did not. It didn't say anything other than press 1 and please hold. Okay, all right, in this case, we pull up the details about the call. Can you verify me your name so I can take it up and see why you received the call? Yeah, my name is Kimberly. Kimberly. Kimberly, K-I-M-B-E-R-L-Y. Waft, W-A-F-T-T. W-A-F-E. Oh, T is in Tom, T-T, -T. Tom, oh. Tom. Okay, got it. All right, now, uh, Kimberly, can you verify me the postal code? Uh, V9G. V9G? Yeah, V9G, 1L4. Alright, so the postal code V9Z1L4. Yeah, it's, right? it's in BC. Okay, so if I'm not mistaken, I believe this is the uh, ladies meet BC? That is correct. Okay, alright, just give me a second, let me pull up the file and I'll let you know why you received the call, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, you there, Kimberly? I'm sorry? Hello? Hello? Uh, okay, thanks for holding the line, dear. Uh -huh. um, Kimberly, I believe this is your first time you're receiving a call from our department, right? Oh, yes, it certainly is. Okay, right. So I'm going to explain to you the reason why we did not write you a mail and why we made a call on you today as well, okay? Uh, okay. And, it, and yet, before we proceed, uh, just for your information, I'd like to notify you that this call is a federally government recorded and monitored line. So I want you to be honest with me as much as possible over this recorded line, and you'll be made aware of your rights before the call ends. Okay? Yes, yes, sir. All right. So here, Kimberly, the reason you got a call from our department today is because the Canada Border Service Agency has found and seized one parcel which was saved using the Canada Post Service and the UNA. So when this parcel was scanned for a clear and purpose, we found a controlled drug substance, which is a case worth $94,000 and also a multiple fake driver's license and your identity from different provinces. So due to this reason, we were forced to run a liaison that has scanned on you. And also there are two serious allegations against your name, firstly, drug trafficking, that's the under section 416, and number two, there is money laundering under section 18 and the section 3. And lastly, aggravated identity theft under section 10288. So, Kimberly, are you aware of all these activities which are happening under your identity? No. I, that, I, no, I've not done any of those things. Okay. So, are you expecting any package from overseas? From overseas? Not that I can think of. I might have ordered okay. something from Amazon that might be coming from overseas, uh, but... Okay. So, uh, if you don't mind me asking, like, what type of product is it coming from the Amazon? 
uh, from Amazon. Well, I ordered some seeds from Amazon, and I ordered a new um, a new vacuum sealer. Okay. Okay, no problem. So I'll proceed with the case. Uh, please listen to me very carefully, all right? Okay. Okay, so here are the reason we made a call on you today is because after uh, investigating on your case here and after going to the investigation, we found that you did not live in Ontario or that you don't live in Alberta where your identities were being used. So that's the reason we made a call on you because we believe your that your identity may have been misused by someone else, not by you. you maybe you are not the victim. Uh, maybe you are not the culprit of this case. In case maybe you are the victim of this case. So that's the reason we made a call on you, so we could take a statement from your side over this recording line. All right? Okay. I hope. I, 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 yes. Go ahead. I'm just so confused. Are you saying that my identity has been stolen? Uh, yeah, according to the information we have here so far, it's like your identity has been compromised by someone. And the investigation is going on right now. We have no idea who is the person behind your identity. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So, and also here we made a contact to the Bureau of Narcotics and came to know that the Canada Postal Service have received a numerous parcel that was transported during the pandemic time. But the investigation team investigated and forwarded the details to us to prove that you were guilty on the basis of the evidence that we have received. And also here, uh, there were two addresses found on your identities. That was, uh, the one from Ontario and Andrew. You have? So the Royal Canada, yeah, so the Royal Canada mounted a uh, range right address in the city of those two addresses. Uh, but they found no one present there, but they recovered the consignment of 22 pounds of cocaine along with the financial documents like banking statement, receipt of transaction, debit card, tag, and also recovered some documents which are related to multiple bank accounts like RBC, TD Canada Trust, Dead Guardian, CIBC, Bank of Montreal, and Bank of Nova Scotia under your identities. And all these bank accounts were used to transfer and receive funds in domestic as well as international, which led to money laundering, bank fraud, and service tax came, and a huge amount of transaction of more than $2.3 million internationally. So, uh, Kimberly, are you the person who is banking with all these five different banks which you found under your name? No, I haven't banked with any of those banks. What on earth is going on? Oh, all right. So as for your knowledge and your information as of this moment, uh, how many bank accounts are you dealing with under your name? I have one bank account under my name. Oh, just one bank? Yes. Oh, okay. All right, so before we proceed further, I have a few questions I'd like to ask you. Like, have we ever shared any of your bank details, your PSB number, or any of your confidential information? like your identity to anyone else who may, be, who may be misusing in this kind of criminal activities, or do you have any suspected person? Oh my goodness, no. I don't ever share no. that kind of personal information. Okay, so have you ever lost your wallet or your bank card? No. Good gracious, no. no. Okay. All right. So have you ever do any online uh, money transfer in overseas or... Did you do online shopping in which your information might got compromised? I'm sorry, I missed that a little bit. Uh, okay, I'm uh, what I'm saying is that have you ever do any online uh, money transaction overseas? Or did you do online shopping in which your information might got compromised? I have done some online shopping with Amazon, but Amazon, I, okay. I thought that was secure. Uh, so, have you ever uh, did any mo uh, money online transaction? No, I'm not even sure how you would do that. Okay. I only just shop at Amazon. Okay, so you're telling me, so according to, right, so according to the statement here, seems like you aren't completely aware about all this, right? You have I no idea about all this. I have no idea about any of this. Okay. So, uh, uh, what's the name of the 
bank you're dealing with and how long you've been with the bank? Uh, it's a local bank. It's a coastal community credit union. And I've been with them for about seven years now. Seven years, okay. So uh, what's the name of the bank again? It's Coastal Community Bank. So you've been with them about seven years. Yeah. Okay. So apart from this uh, Crystal Community Bank, you're not dealing with any other bank under your name. No, sir. Okay. So with this uh, Crystal Community Bank, like what type of account you are dealing with them? Is it like a checking, the savings, investment, money market? Yeah, I just have a checking account with them. Okay. And I what just account? keep a very minimal va balance in there. It just gets okay. my my Social Security every year, or my uh -huh. pension. Uh-huh. That's okay. all I have. So, all right. So as you told me that uh, you did, uh, you're dealing with this Christian community bank. So in order for us to differentiate which bank account belong to you and those which bank account are the bank account open up under your name. And in order to prove that you are the person who you say you are and that you are not on any uh, kind of this bank account and you're just banking with the community bank. So can you confirm me like uh, what's the approximate balance you've got under the taking of the Coastal Community Bank? approximately you don't have to be specific i think there's about a hundred dollars in there right now okay a hundred dollars yeah i'm just waiting i'm waiting i don't get my check till the end of the month yeah okay so with this crystal community bank are you dealing with any credit card or a debit card with them oh gosh no no okay so apart from this uh, crystal community bank are you dealing with any other credit card company no, sir. Okay. All right. So, uh, Kimberly, like, uh, about your identity being used by someone else, do you have any idea how is this possible? I have no idea how that's possible. I, I, I shred uh, everything that has my name on it. I don't even throw it in the garbage. I don't know, even know how this could happen. So we don't mean leaving right now at the moment. I'm sorry? Yeah. With whom you're residing right now? With your family, your husband, or alone? Uh, just uh, just myself. Uh, just yourself? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. I wish I had somebody to help me with the bills. That would sure be nice. Sorry? I wish I had somebody to help me with the bills. That would sure yeah. be nice. Okay. All right. So about this, Kimberly, uh, I'm going to do one thing for you. I'm going to go ahead and submit all this information to the uh, RCMP, the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. And they're going to be in charge of your case and the investigation. Okay? Okay. So... Okay, so now, uh, can you provide me the number for the RCMP, which is nearby your place? The number for, the, I don't know the number for the RCMP nearby. I've never had to call them. Okay, so like, uh, can you just give me uh, any RCMP number for the BC? Uh, well, I can look it up on Google, maybe. Uh, oh, yes, please do that. Okay, here's one. Um, this is um, Royal Canadian Mounted Police, and it's 250-245-2215. Okay. Oh, can you come again once more? The number for the RCMP? 250 2215. Okay, so if I'm not uh, if I'm not mistaken, I believe that's the one from the 326 Avenue, Lady Smith, BC, right? Yes, that's the closest one. Okay. 
All right. So here's what I'm going to do for you uh, about your case. I'm going to have you work with one of the officers from the uh, department and explain to them about your case and tell them that you are completely aware about it. And you have no such five bank account under your name. You've got just one bank. That's the one from the uh, local bank, Crystal Community Bank. And you've been with the bank for about seven years, right? That is correct. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do for you. So firstly, let me have a word with the officer from, uh, from the department and explain to them about your case. All right? Okay. Should I just wait okay. on? Should I wait? Yes, you don't have to hang up the phone. Yeah, you just keep me, uh, just stay on the line, okay? Okay. Okay, I'll be right back with you. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Who am I speaking to? Oh, no, ma'am, you're, you're now you're connected with the senior office of Lorenzo Arvias to a flow supervisor about the number of 48721. Uh, did you say Mr. Lorenzo? Yeah, Lorenzo Arvias. It's my first and last name. Okay. So now uh, you know you understand about the situation. Am I right? Do you understand about the situation? Uh, well, I'm very, very confused. Apparently, somebody has been using my name and has been m laundering money and selling drugs. Mm -hmm. So there was a conversation you had between an officer with the Canadian Border Service Agency, right? Yes, sir. All right, ma'am, you might be not aware of the situation, however... Uh, you are a victim of this identification stuff. You might be not the person committing effort. You might be not the one ordering for a drug status. However, these allegations are made and they're unique, and these persons are all day using your information, okay? Well, that's, uh, that's not right. How can that be? Yeah, whenever you withdraw money from the ATM or whenever you make a payment, a hacker can hack into any identity using a CCTV camera. Through a CCTV camera, your privacy information can be hacked by a hacker or get it called by a team. Got it? Oh my goodness. What am I going to do? That is right now, your information, your privacy information, it can be your social insurance detail, it can be your driving license, the identity, your privacy information was now with someone else, right? As we're not the one committing a fraud, as we're not the one ordering for a process, which means someone has your, all, your, all your information, that is why the person was unable to order a process using your information, was able to open a fake account for money laundry, okay? Oh my God. Now, so now what we gotta go ahead and do is that once I brought all your information to the RCMP, the RCMP gonna see the identity, the, the whole identity which is associated and they you need. I, okay? thought, I thought that and, you were the RCMP. Yeah. Once you transfer information to the RCMP, the identity which you have will be all seized and confiscated by the federal government, okay? So everything... And your bank account will... Yeah, uh, and your... your, your you go ahead. Are you saying that everything that I have is going to be seized because of this? Yeah, because of this, for our father, illegal activities, okay? For normal father illegal activities, we, the RCMP, going to cease and freeze the identity, okay? And you'll get a new identity by tomorrow morning. Well, uh, from a guy from the, uh, yeah, yeah, an officer from the RCMP and an officer from the Canadian Border Service Agency is going to drop to a new identity, okay? 
They're going to give me a new identity? Yeah, main concern is to catch the group who was into your identity who misuse your information. Okay? Oh. Now, okay. I'm going to proceed. Yeah, now I'm going to proceed your file to the federal courthouse. As I have told you, your bank account will be set by the federal government. So before I proceed your file to the federal courthouse, you have to empty the balance. Okay? And as of now, if you withdraw a money via on, there will be against your against you in the courthouse, okay? And there's some evidence that proves you that you are not the owner of all those bank accounts here. Hello? Yeah, I, I don't have any bank accounts except for just one. Yeah, ma'am. Yeah, it's well. Um, your voice is waiting. Okay. Uh, can you repeat it once again? I'm sorry. I don't have any other bank accounts. I just have one bank account. Yeah, you just have one bank account, and I would set the approximate balance of a hundred dollars, right? That's correct. So for that hundred dollars, I want it to process a gift card, a government certified, a certified voucher card, and I want it to provide the number so that I can submit the card detail as an evidence which proves that you are not the owner of all this bank account and you are not the one doing all this money laundering. Oh yes, I'm definitely not the one doing the money laundering. That, that's definitely not me. Yeah, that's definitely not you. As an evidence which proves that you are not the one. Okay? Okay. How can I prove that? And, yeah, you can prove that by going, by going to a nearest grocery store to their have to buy the card, okay? I have to buy a you what? Have you have to buy a government certified vouchers from the store. I have to buy government certified yeah. vouchers from the store? Yeah, yeah, from the store and oh. the amount. For how much? For a hundred dollars. You only have one hundred dollars, right? As I have told you, now, if you met a person, if you met anything that you do your account, that will be counted as an illegal transaction. And if I have told you, that will be against you in a court of, okay? That is why I want you to have a visit this store, a nearest store to your place, and I want you to purchase a gift card there, okay? And you have, and, and we're going to generate a safe card wallet under your name, okay? Uh, okay. And and then we will seize and freeze the account, okay? We will seize and freeze the account and your identity. And as I have told you, but tomorrow morning an officer from the Canadian Border Service is empty and an officer from the RCM is going to drop you a new identity and a take of $100, okay? Okay. Which means you have, you have to purchase a gift voucher card and you have to keep the card with you, okay? Okay. And once you purchase the card, you have to provide me the details of the card so that I can link in your safe wallet. Okay? I can link and save back your money. Okay. So at this moment, do you have like any transportation? Do I have a what? Do you have like any transportation like a car? Uh, no, I don't have a car. I have to you catch the have car, I have right? to catch the bus. So, so, yeah, do you know where to buy a purchase a, a government certified voucher? Do you know where to um, uh, well, I'm not sure. I could try my grocery store in Ladysmith. Yeah, Woolsworth or any store, okay? To your name uh, to your nearest place you have to visit the store and have to purchase a gift card. And now I want you to finish up and go to the store, okay? And once you're done, and once you're at the store, once you have reached the store, do let me know, okay? And I'll let you know which card to buy, okay? Okay, should I call you back? No, I'll, until I want you to stay on the line, stay connected, okay? I want to put me on speaker, okay? Okay. The government, uh, the card is going to need the full recording, okay? The full recording conversation. 
as an evidence, okay? So that is why we are not allowed to disconnect. And once we got disconnected, we're going to process. Uh, okay. Well, the next bus doesn't come until 6 o'clock tonight. So the next bus doesn't come until 6 o'clock tonight. So is there any other way that you can book an Uber? They don't ha I don't have, we don't have Uber out here. No, we don't have an Uber out here, right? So no, we're, we're very, out. we're very, very remote in the country. So do you have, is there any, like, uh, do, you have any, uh, do you have any idea about the walking distance to, uh, to a store which is nearby to your place? There are no stores within walking distance from my house. The closest store is about three miles from here, and I can't walk that far. Not a problem. So, uh, uh, can, you, can I have the uh, home address, the complete home address? You want my home address? Yeah, yeah your home address. Uh, I don't know if I'm comfortable giving out my home address. Why? Why do you need my home address? That I can Google it out, right? So how far the store is from your place? Well, I know where the store is. So I, I don't need you to Google where the store is. I know where the store is. So that I can get in the internet options, right? No, well, I don't need you to do that for me. I I know how to do that. All right, not a problem. So get ready, okay? Okay. I'll I'll get ready. Do let do let me know. Okay, I'll get ready. I'm not sure what I'm get. What am I getting ready for? Hello. Hello. Are you still? Yeah, hello? hello. Yes. Oh, I'm. I'm not sure. He told me to get ready, and I'm not sure what I'm getting ready for. Is this Lorenzo? Yes. This is Lorenzo? Yes. Okay. So I'm not sure what I'm supposed to get ready for, Lorenzo. Okay. So now you get ready uh, to go to the to go to the store and put that certified government gift card, which can help you safeguard the money which is in your bank. Okay. Okay. So you have a bank card, right? A debit card which you use to withdraw the money from the bank at the ATM. No, I have to go into the bank to withdraw money. Oh, okay. I don't I don't have a debit oh, okay. card. Oh, I see. I don't, so, uh, I don't try to withdraw the maximum amount you have there yeah, because we're going to suspend this bank account. I'm going to freeze it in every of your uh, personal details, and you'll be receiving a new identity as well, okay? Okay. Okay, so try to withdraw at the maximum amount you can withdraw before the bank account is suspended, okay? Okay. Hold on All just right, a minute. So now you get ready. So how, uh, how far is the bank from your place? Uh, the bank is about 20 minutes from here. 20 minutes, okay. It's all right. It's okay. So you just get ready and just let me know once you're ready to move out. All right. Okay. Okay. Well, I just don't know what's going on here. I just don't know what's going on here. This is just, this is just too crazy. I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't think I can do this anymore. Uh, you have to do this, and it's the only way in which we can safeguard the money which is in your bank and your identities. Uh, okay. So, like, as you know, there's a money laundering which is running under your name right now. You, you are not authorized to keep any case with you, but uh, once you bought the card, You'll upload, uh, you'll load for uh, the money which is in your bank with the card, and you'll be uh, given a check along with the new identities, okay? 
Well, what will my new identity be? I like my old identity. Yeah, it, it, it will just be the same. But as you know, right now someone has an excess to it. To prevent a further accident about this, we have to do this. But the person who are behind your identities, we have no idea. What, they was, what are they going to do next? So we have to avoid that. Well, yes, by all means, let's avoid that. Yes, we have to avoid that. We have to prevent a further incident about this, about your identity being misused by someone. Yeah, that would right. be that would be awful. So you just let me know once you're ready to move. Okay. Uh, well, well, like I told you earlier, the next the next bus doesn't come for another three and a half hours to take me to the bank, and I'm afraid that the bank will be closed by then. Can we do this tomorrow? Tomorrow? Yeah, if I knew about it in the morning, I could go earlier. There's two buses in the morning and only one at night. And it, it doesn't come till 6 o'clock and the bank is closed by then. Oh, okay. So you have no other means of transportation right now? No. Like an Uber, maybe? No, they don't have Uber here. Okay, so it's just a bus. Yeah, I, I can't I can't just get to the bank easily. I have to I have to take the bus and, and it only runs three times a day out here, twice in the morning and one in the evening. Okay, I see. All right. So uh, about your case here. Apart from the Canada Border Service Agency, Agency and the RCMP, no other department have any idea about this case. So, uh, if any bank have no idea about this, but uh, if the bank know that there's some money laundering which is under your name, under your bank, they will just go ahead directly suspend this uh, your bank account. So you have to keep this. Uh, investigation confidential, just between you and my department and the RCMP, okay? Oh, so I shouldn't call my bank and tell them? Because I could uh, call my bank. Tell the bank right I could, now, I could call my bank. I could call my bank. your bank for you because there's a money laundering which is under your name. I so could directly go ahead and suspend the account. I could call my bank. I know the people at my bank. I could call them. Nine to ten years? It would be frauds. Oh my gosh. Yes. So this is the reason we made a call on you. Well I just don't know what to I just I just don't know what to do. I can't. I don't have a car. And I don't have any way to get there. I don't know anybody who can come and get me. And I, the bus doesn't come for hours. I don't know what to do. <laughs> so, uh, okay. I'm so sorry. The bus coming again? The bus comes at 6 o'clock. Okay, just calm down. You don't have to cry, all right? Okay. Yeah, just calm down. Uh, okay. So, so you're telling me that it's not possible to do this by today? No. I can't do it no. today. Okay. I can't. I could do it in All the morning, right. but I can't do it today because it's too late. Okay, that's it. Right. So, is there any way in which you can, you can be done by tomorrow? I can go first thing in the morning. Oh, okay. You please do that first thing in the morning. Uh, when the bank is open, you go to the bank and withdraw the uh, how much amount you have in the bank. Maybe you can give about five dollars or maybe ten or twenty dollars. Okay. You don't have to take it out all. Okay, you don't have to withdraw all the money which is in the bank. Okay. Because if you do that, those person who are behind your identities will be suspicious about your bank. Maybe they'll know that the investigation is going on. And they'll try to run away from the situation, and we won't able to catch those culprits who are behind your identity. 
Well, we definitely want to catch them. This is awful. Okay. I'll go first thing in the morning. Do I? Should I call you back? Okay. Okay. Tomorrow okay, so tomorrow I'm morning? Just, uh, the bank yeah, opens at nine. Money. The bank opens at okay, nine. So I I, oh, I, I I should be morning. back home at ten. Okay, I see. So once you uh, once you go to the bank, I want you to withdraw the money from your bank account. As I've uh, as I've told you before that you have to uh, purchase the card. The government certified gift card. So uh, there will be either the Sephora or the Walmart gift card. Sephora? So you have to Sep Sephora or the Walmart. Sephora or Walmart gift yes. card. Yes. Okay. Yes. And I'm supposed so to... How much amount of money you have. Yeah, you have if you have a $200, you can buy the other card for a $200, which will be a single card. And if you want, you can look for the $100. And there'll also be a fifty dollars for the Sephora. So how much amount you have in the bank you can manage with the Sephora with the Sephora or the Walmart gift card, okay? Okay. 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 And if we uh, if we're gonna do our, okay. So if uh if we're only gonna be able to do this by tomorrow, then you'll be receiving uh your new identity by day after tomorrow, not by tomorrow, okay? Okay, so that makes sense. Time. That makes sense. Thank you so much, Lorenzo. Well, I sure hope you catch them because this is awful. Yes, yes, we'll do. Uh, we're trying our best. Okay. And as I've told you that right now, about your identity being misused by someone else. So in the eye of the uh, Canada government, we suspect everyone which is nearby you. We, we can't trust anybody about this case because it's your identity being used, right? Right. I don't trust anybody. So, Lorenzo for understanding okay. my my situation. Right. I really appreciate no, your help. No, no problem. I'm just doing my job. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. So, all right. So you don't have to worry too much, okay? Okay. Have to, you don't have to worry too much. Okay. Uh, with, uh, I assure you we will get those calls who are behind your identities. Okay. Thank you. All right. Okay. okay. I'll talk to you tomorrow. I'll, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Bye. watching me while I mess with scammers. It's it's lots of fun. <laughs> uh, don't trust anybody who calls you asking for personal information or banking information. Don't ever, ever, ever trust them. But if you want to play with them a little bit, just do it. It wastes their time and it means they can't be messing with somebody else who might be more vulnerable. So that's the end of that for today. Thanks so much. I'll see you soon. Bye now.